Hey everyone, John Gonzalez here from MLive.com and Michigan's Best. Welcome to our podcast. Today we're talking to Ryan Gerard. He's the owner of the Third Coast Surf Shop in St. Joseph, Michigan, and we're ready to catch a wave with him. So Ryan, how you doing? I'm doing well, John. How about you? Uh, you know what? I'm doing fantastic. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Michigan. And uh, we'll take the sun well, while we can get it, right? You know what? After a long winter, uh, I'll take it, especially on a Friday. Oftentimes, I, I, I will begin with like, you know, it, it's surfing, it's Michigan. Who would have thought, right? But, you know, the more that I think about it, it's 2021 already. And I think the, the novelty of, of surfing in Michigan, at least those that live in Michigan and have been around for a little while, kind of go, yeah, I see those crazy people out on the lake, on Lake Michigan, right? Uh, during the winter time, it's, it's not new anymore. Is it kind of cool for you? You've been doing this surfing thing for a while. You, I think you started your surf shop in in 20, 2005, 20, 20, 2005. So this is not new to you too. Are you finding more and more people uh, kind of getting used to seeing you on the water in the winter time? Yeah, the simple answer is yes. Um, you know, surfing has, has been around in, in Michigan since the, uh, as far back as the late 1950s. It really kind of started to to grow in the 1960s, the late 60s, um, kind of at the same time that it was happening in, in California, Florida, um, the Gulf Coast, obviously here in the Midwest um, on a smaller scale overall. Um, but it, it's, it's basically continually grown slowly but surely since then. Um, but the last several years, it's, it's definitely uh, grown at a faster clip, I'd say. Um, you know, when I, when I started in 1998, there weren't nearly as many surfers um, as there are these days. And then, uh, you know, even when I, when we opened the first surf shop in 2005, uh, same deal, you know, it, 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 it wasn't as popular as it is now. And, and it seems like each year it just slowly keeps growing, um, you know, at a, at a fairly steady clip. Um, you know, it'll never be uh, Southern California. But, uh, you know, for good reason. And we, we have our own cool little um, vibe here in, in the Great Lakes surfing community. I love how you said a great, great little vibe, and you certainly do. So let's go back a little bit and explain to people what Third Coast does, because I know you started in 2005 in New Baltimore. You have a second location in St. Joe now, which is your flagship store. So Third Coast Surf Shop, you're, you're doing it all there, right? Yeah, yeah. The first um, location was in New Buffalo, and, and now, like you said, our, our main store in St. Joe. Um, so, you know, here we are kind of rooted in southwestern Michigan. Um, and from the very beginning, we've been a, a, a surf shop, a real surf shop, not a, a tourist t-shirt shop. You know, of course, we, we, we cater to the summer tourists, just like every, uh, you know, retail business in every beach town in Michigan. Um, but we really do surf and we really do cater to the surfing community. Um, it's not some kind of shtick, you know what I mean? Um, I've been surfing on the Great Lakes for 22 years now. And, um, you know, uh, we have a, a large customer base that um, continues to grow. You know, like I said earlier, you know, the Great Lakes surfing scene continues to grow. Um, so, you know, we, we do it all. We, we sell the surfboards, the wetsuits, uh, all the accessories you need. Um, we also cater to, you know, I, I think what people would consider the, the surfing lifestyle, um, which would be like the, the apparel, um, the sunglasses, the sandals, you know, the, all the brands that kind of go along with that. Um, and then, you know, we do skateboarding, which uh, to me is um, a direct um, descendant from surfing. Uh, and, and now we've been doing snowboarding for the last uh, couple of years. Um, which again, I, I think is, is part of the surfing lifestyle. Um, if you know what I mean, it, a, a lot of surfers in, in the Midwest and the Great Lakes in Michigan uh, also skate, also snowboard. Um, so, you know, just like a, a surf shop in California or Florida, um, we cater to, to all of those things. Well, I love that it's, it is kind of a community and a culture and that you all work together, whether you're snowboarding, skateboarding or surfing. Um, everyone seems to get along. Now, you personally, you, you, you know, you've spent some time in Colorado. You went to school at Northern Michigan University. You, you're based down in southwestern Michigan. You really have done it all, right? You know, like a lot of uh, 
uh, people that, that I guess are into this uh, type of lifestyle and are passionate about um, these these board sports, as, as some people call it. Um, yeah, you know, I've, I've been fortunate to, to live out west, Colorado and uh, Jackson, Wyoming, um, you know, to pursue snowboarding. Um, Santa Cruz, California, um, to kind of live the surf bum lifestyle, you know, when I was a little younger. Um, that's where I, I got my first taste of the surf industry, um, start, uh, building surfboards at a, a factory out there, um, as well as um, doing surf lessons. Um, so when I came back to Michigan to, to finish school at Northern Michigan University, um, you know, I, I, I had some experience under my belt. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it kind of translated into uh, to opening that first surf shop. Well, I like too that you can walk into your shop and um, if you're a novice, you know, intermediate or advanced, you know, you can cater to each person. Let's talk about the novice for a little bit because that would be me. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, I can come in and, and, and I can get lessons. I can, you know, get outfitted. What I need, ba the basics, right? We see that every day, um, you know, to be honest. We, we, uh, we through email, through phone, in store, online, through social media, um, you know, it's like I, I said earlier, it's a it's a growing scene. Um, so yes, we do it all. We 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 do surf lessons. We we rent the equipment. Um, we sell all of the equipment. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that we do is is um, we 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 kind of cater specifically to um, Great Lakes surfing, but it's it's all equipment that can be used. You know, surfing anywhere in the world. Um, I just got back from Costa Rica and, you know, all the, all the same stuff that we sell at the surf shop I was using, you know, in the Pacific ocean. Um, so yeah, you know, from the beginning, we've, we've definitely been a, a full service surf shop in that sense. You know, doing a little research. I mean, I know you said summer is, is your busiest season, right? It is just because of the tourism. Yeah. And so, so, but I'm curious about for the hardcore surfer, right? That's not me. Uh, <laughs> um, I find it interesting in the research that I did is that your big season is the winter time, right? Is when it's, when it's colder out. So yeah. Um, in general, the, the colder, the, the season, the colder, the weather in Michigan, uh, the more consistent the surfing is, the more we get waves. Um, waves on the Great Lakes are made just like they are in the oceans, just on a much smaller scale. So um, when we get a cold front that passes over Lake Michigan, the winds start blowing out of the north down the, the, the length of the lake. That's how waves are built. Um, so it, 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 we get more of that in the colder months, obviously, more dynamic weather systems um, versus the summer where we're kind of in this high pressure, mild um, weather pattern for, for much of the summer. We, don't get me wrong, we definitely get waves in the summer and, and we surf year round. Um, but traditionally, I think most Great Lakes surfers consider uh, fall to be kind of the start of the surfing season. Um, you know, Labor Day, I think if you had to look at one date, it's kind of like the kickoff to the, the surf season. Um, and really in general, it, it, the waves and the surfing just becomes more consistent um, the deeper you go into winter, of course, Many winters in Michigan, although this is changing with climate change, unfortunately, um, but many winters in Michigan will get ice shelves that build up along the, the shorelines. Um, so, you know, when that happens, nobody's surfing. Um, but outside of that, uh, you know, the, the, the surfers, the core surfers that are really into it, um, we don't let winter stop us. You know, it's pretty simple. If you either keep surfing when it gets cold or you stop surfing or you go somewhere warmer to surf <laughs> like costa water. rica <laughs> right exactly yeah well i also find it, i'm really intrigued by the whole culture because you, you kind of have your own language your own things you do everyone kind of knows each other or and they're welcoming right if you're new to it you're like you don't look down on anyone you're like hey come on dude let's go check this thing out right here, here they are yes <laughs> at yeah. third coast we definitely are and in the great lake surfing community in general um, it's definitely a, a welcoming, welcoming community. Unfortunately, there are surfing cultures, subcultures, I guess, in other parts of the country and the world where it may not be quite like that. But uh, surfing here has, has been compared to, you know, what it was in Southern California. 
in like the 1950s or 60s where it was still a, a relatively small um, group of people doing it you know yeah. and every, everybody was stoked everybody was was into it excited about it um, and everyone was welcoming it's like you drive down the, the street here and you see a guy with a board on top and you stick your hand out to wave you know you're not going to see that happening in happening in san diego you know, right. where, where there's like 10 million surfers or whatever it is ryan we call that the midwest nice right <laughs> the michigan that's right. nice exactly. Uh, but, exactly but that's cool though it's what makes us different makes us unique um, hey, one last thing here, because I do want to ask a little bit more about the details of the shop and how to get there and uh, where's all that stuff. But um, the other thing I'm in, in my research, as you can see, I was really intrigued talking to you today, is um, the fact that you are also kind of weather junkies too. You all have the apps and you're looking at, at wind rates and, and you're, you're looking at, I mean, you're detailed about learning about the physical science of weather. That's right. You know, if you're serious about surfing in the Great Lakes, um, you kind of have to be, you know, we, we consider ourselves amateur meteorologists. Um, you know, it, it, it's not as simple as, as just driving down, you know, saying, oh, I'm off on Saturday. I'm going to drive down to the beach and go surfing. It, it, that just doesn't happen here. You right. know, the, the waves are fairly inconsistent. Um, so, yeah, you know, to, to get waves and to get good waves, especially, um, you really have to, to spend the time um, you know, doing the research on, on weather and, and how waves are made, um, you know, learn about the spots that, that you, you surf at. Um, and, you know, there's, there are a lot of resources out there these days. Our website has, you know, good resources. Um, like you said, we have apps on our phones. So once you, you know, spend a little time doing that, um, you know, you, you really start to learn it. And it just, then it, you know, by now for me, I can look at my phone in 30 seconds and, and know when there was gonna be waves for the next week. Um, but you know, you do need to, to invest a little time and, and energy into to doing that. Um, if you want to, uh, you know, surf here. What, what is the feeling like to, to ride a wave? I mean, to be in, in it, whether it's a four foot wave or a six foot, seven foot wave, I mean, whatever, you know, the, the height of it is, what is it like when you're in that moment and you're riding it for, I don't know, what is a good long run? 20 it's, seconds? Uh, yeah. 20 seconds would be a, definitely a, a, a good length of a, a, a wave ridden it's hard to describe uh, you know there's a, a saying that goes back decades in surfing only a surfer knows the feeling yeah um and you know what i i just all i know is the first time i caught a wave i was actually on a, a boogie board you know like you see the kids on at a beach um I, you know the first time i caught that kind of a real wave and wow i was just hooked right there you know i bought a used surfboard the next week and that was it. It, it took my life over. So, you know, it, it's hard to describe how it feels to ride a wave, but all I know is it, it's a pretty damn good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, tell me a little bit more about your shop and, and some of the, you know, the, maybe the hours that you're open and the, the days you're open and when the season is. And, and roughly, I, I would imagine that um, it seems like a pretty inexpensive sport, but I mean, like any anything that you're interested in, you can spend more money on, but, you know, you can get them and spend some you know, a decent amount of money and get, get involved in the sport, right? You can, you know, um, you can rent to start, of course, um, you know, but for under a thousand dollars, you can get all the equipment you need to, to surf year round. Um, it's not like skiing or snowboarding. We have to buy a lift ticket or a season pass every time you go. Uh, yeah. You know, thankfully, once you have the gear, um, you just got to get to the beach and, and get out there. Um, so yeah, our, our, uh, our St. Joe store is open year round um you know uh the, the hours vary but it's typically like 10 to 6 something like that a little longer hours in summer um, like you said earlier john we do surf lessons we rent all of the gear um we do kids beach camps in the summer which uh, are awesome you know it's a we, we get the kids down to the beach they they surf on the little waves coming in they they paddle board um they ride down the dunes on our sandboards um, it's a pretty, pretty unique experience um, that's growing quite a bit for us, actually. We also um, do kayak and paddleboard rentals on some of the local um, rivers and, and beaches here in southwest Michigan. Um, so that's a really cool thing, too. You know, really doesn't have anything to do with surfing, excuse me. Um, but, you know, in the summertime, it, there's no better way to experience the beautiful Michigan weather than to, to get out on the water and, and do that. Um, and then, yeah, we've been... Um, carrying snowboarding equipment the, the last two seasons 
that's been going great. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll be heading into next winter um, fully stocked. And, and our online business is really growing. Um, we've invested a lot there. Um, you know, so we get a lot of business from right here in Michigan online, uh, you know, but also throughout the Midwest and Great Lakes region and, and beyond. Um, so people can, can connect with us in a lot of different ways. Of course, we're on all the social media channels out there. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, we're a very welcoming uh, business and community here. Well, e-commerce is definitely the way to go, right? Then if, if people can't actually physically go into your shop. So uh, Ryan Gerard from the Third Coast Surf Shop in St. Joseph in New Buffalo. We appreciate you being on the Michigan's Best Podcast. Is there anything else that you want people to know about what you guys do? And can you give us your website? Yeah, our, our website is uh, our business name. It's thirdcoastsurfshop.com. And, you know, all I would say is even if you're not a surfer, um, if, if you are looking for a little bit of that, you know, island vibe or, uh, you know, California beach field and stop into our shop when you're passing through Southwest Michigan and we'll, uh, we'll be glad to see you. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, what, do you what do you say in the surf world? Which, uh, which... Adios, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Take care, my friend. All right, John. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.